Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. While focus now on hunt the decks is on Arcane Hunters, this new Shock Spitter Hunters, Quest Hunter is actually still a perfectly fine deck and I had a great time playing with some Quest Hunter. I built the Quest Hunter deck that I'm now using together with this Arcane package. So I'm using stuff like Conjured Arrows and Arcane Quivers and this actually opens up a print of a new avenue for Quest Hunter because with Conjured Arrow, with Arcane Quiver, with Furious Howl you have a different card draw package. You don't have to go with the Secret Package and Multicaster. Although you can still also build Quest Hunter with Secret Package and Multicaster that's a perfectly fine way to do it but this is an alternative path that now is functional because you have a very low curve which makes furious howl much better i intentionally built this deck with a very low curve and didn't even include beastalker tavish although beastalker tavish in the secret version is still doing great job so depending on how aggressive the meta is beastalker tavish might still be a good choice to include the early stats indicate that the weakest cards in this list currently are talented arcanists and followed by halder and brightwing so that means that there's potentially three slots that you could play around with a little bit i'm thinking marked shots potentially thinking beastalker tavish not sure if any changes are actually needed but those are some options if you want to start tweaking the deck a little Anyway, the deck has a lot of potential damage, so you don't need Beast Archetavish for those infinite beasts in case you want to win control decks like that, because I was actually able to deal more than 90 damage to a Blood Death Knight with this deck, so yeah, there's plenty of damage just from the spells. And this is what Quest Arcane Hunter looks like in action. Maybe I'm a little adventurous and keep Barak in the Mulligan. Not completely convinced about that. Maybe I should have just mulliganed it away. But we'll see. Alright, some kind of some kind of very healthy that night. Let's see. Defend the Dwarven District. Here we go. I'm gonna start doing some damage. Get some quest progress. Okay. It's a start. <laughs> Jimmy with the sub. Hey, thanks. Appreciate that. Ooh, stack charge. Nice. Oh, the worst wild seed. Well, it happens. It happens. Alright, and we're facing a super control deck, so they're gonna be all about that control. Yikes. Tons and tons and tons of healing and stuff. That's a little scary, I admit. We'll coin the Kodo Bane. Draw some cards. Do more to make the hero power free. Ouch. Yeah, that vampiric blood. That can really heal them up. And there's those munchers and everything. That deck really brings the heals. Well, we need to do a stack charge here. We want to do some bob nets as well. some face. Do I do a ricochet shot? They have patchwork in that deck. So I'll need to be able to get the Tavish played on the same turn when I when I get it in my hand. So this leaves me leeway to do damage one more time with a spell before I have to get Tavish. For example, if they have that muncher, then I can conjure it, I row it down. That's an opportunity that I needed to have here. Because now I can get rid of this. 
not get the damage to my hand yet. Just hero power that down. Play the hard run. Perfect. So that next turn I will be able to play a damage spell and then immediately play Tavish. So that they cannot patchwork my Tavish, Tavish away. Because now otherwise it's 7 mana, patchwork is available. Second Vampiric Blood. Yep, that's already 25 healing so far. Ricochet Shot is a fine damage spell here. We'll do the Ricochet Shot. And that gives me Tavish, Master Marksman. So here comes the Tavish. This one goes face, of course. Hero power to the face, of course. We can do some tracking. And track into. I suppose an aimed shot is fine. Hero power face again. Alright, I'm expecting like a soul stealer or something here. That would make sense against the Tavish. Here it comes. That's pretty sweet. I like that one too. I like that. Also draw some cards. Keep shooting face. All right. We're trying to blast here. They have had 65 health. Oh, another. 75 is a lot. 75 is a lot. I have to say, oh, 81 health so far that we would have to push through. That is a lot of health. 81 health to push through. We're working on it. Is it going to be too much? Maybe there is a chance that there is a chance that that's too much health. Kind of hard to choose from these. We have dealt 61 damage so far. 61 dealt, but we still need more. 61 just isn't enough. Blood and Knight does have a lot of healing. After dealing 61 damage, they're still rolling on. They still have those blood balls and stuff too. Oh. 
And they have Sire. This is not enough damage, right? Let's see. That's essentially 10, 12. Could be 14. That's not quite enough. Then we'll be able to use blood to boil on me. Isn't that a problem? I do need to kill the Bran. I think I need to kill the Bran anyway. Like seven available from there. That's not enough. Blood boil heals too much. Blood boil is a big problem now. Maybe maybe I shouldn't have summoned this. Yeah, because that's now a huge problem. And that's going to counter the next spell. No. Definitely countering the next spell. Draw one extra card with Furious Howl. Need to draw the one extra card. Be able to heal again. They will be able to heal again. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. That's only five healing. They go to seven. Piercing shot, please. Okay. We did it. But overall, yeah, that knight definitely is no demon hunter. Crazy how much damage you did. Well, that's that's how I planned this deck. That's why I don't have the I don't have the hero. I don't want to change the hero power. I planned this deck so that it could it could just out damage everything. But I have to say that against blood, I do run out of fate a little. How's unholy doing? I don't think Unholy has any stats. Oh, well, we're going to start shooting at this rogue, I suppose. Boom, boom. Season, this is worth playing for HS replay. Only if you like to build a lot of decks. Because you get a lot of good statistics for deck building. But if you just net deck, then why bother? So I actually think that they might have a bit of an issue with their target market. Like, what target market do they even have? Because there are not that many people who are building Hearthstone decks. That's why they took out the, I guess at least, that's why they took out the diamond and the all rank stats away. So that free players wouldn't even see diamond stats. 
All right, Amic. Take care. Concoctions, A. Eh? Ooh, that's a sweet card here. Let's use that card. Two more turns to Conjure Arrow, which is going to draw some more cards for me. Let's see. I mean, I, I played my triple unhole yesterday and I went three and one, but it still felt weaker. And the meta is slightly rougher, I suppose. The later things go. There's no minions, I won't be able to arrow anything. That's a threat, I guess. Ooh, options, options. They will be able to use use their spells to hit and potentially kill Barak. But they just used the Sinstone Graveyard, so they can't use it again. So this is actually the perfect time to play Barak. Okay. Because now they have a target, but they don't have the graveyard up. So at least there's that. They could do a big dragger. That could hurt. Big dragger could hurt. Now they have no mana. Oh boy, oh boy. They're not going to be able to OTK me, so I'm not just going face here with everything. I do believe face is the place. I can even get Tavish ready. Alright, Tavish is in hand. Next turn I'll have 7 mana. Tavish tracking into a 1 cost card and that's 6 damage. So they need some random healing right now. I might not be able to discover one ghost card, of course. There are six in the deck. Well, some risks. One one out of four cards is a one ghost card. I get two attempts. Right, two attempts it is. Winnie, hey, thanks for the sub. Any other plans? They have 18, 22, 26, 29, 30 damage here. Any one cost card wins the game.
that even left me with some more to spare. Alright. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.